Hi, I'm going to do a very quick demo on showing you how to use crayons in your artwork. I like to do, I like to use my crayons in backgrounds, different techniques, different parts of my painting. And it's very, very simple. As you can see here, I started with, now this is on uh, well, you, uh, cardboard paper, you know, um, so it's a bit, I don't want to, you know, it kind of goes through a little bit, which is not a big deal. I use it on canvas and everything, and it depends on your technique of what you want to do if you want to, you know, if you're going to frame it or what have you. Um, it doesn't bother me. You can use grunge board, for instance. This is a, a, like a type of grunge board that has been embossed. And you can cut out a shape that you want, square, whatever you want, and use this technique on there in different ways. And you can make a piece of jewelry or add it to your mixed media piece. Now, I'm going to show you, this is orange. Let me get a, I want to do dark colors, make sure you guys can see. And then we'll do a pink. What I use is my heat gun. You can also use your hair dryer. That'll work also. Now, as you can see for this, this is just our orange. And this will heat it up. And you can heat up your piece. I like to do a lot of dripping. And you can see, you can blow it. I mean, how fun is that? And you be, you know, you have to be a little careful because, and you can, like I said, you can write with it, you can do whatever. You do have to be a little careful because it will, it could splash on you. I've had that happen many times. Let me move out just a little bit here on my camera so you can get a better view. And right here we'll do a little pink. Oh my. And you can color with it. I love orange and pink together. And some purple. I'll just hold that on the paper. Look at that. That's just holding the crayon on the paper and just coloring a little bit. And then you can blow with, you know, blow it outward. Let's do a green. Well, let's do a pink, like a light pink over here. And you see how you can do it. And the longer, you know, obviously the longer you hold it on there. Some yellow. And these are great. You can buy these at the dollar store. You don't have to buy a name brand because they all work the same. But look at that. And you can do layer over layer. Think of the fun you can have and the different applications you can use this for. Let me pick green. Let's try green over. I get so excited. Let's try green over here. And again, I'm just going to leave it down. Now, you don't want to leave it down? Let me blow it off to a thing. You can hold it up and get drips. You know, pull back the paper because you'll see it'll start smoking in a minute. I mean, look, look how cool. And it just blows and blows. So imagine doing a technique where you're getting these different kind of, just from your, just, just a different mixed media background. And again, very quickly, I'm going to show you one more time, like a different thing here. Color it. Now you can see my paper is still warm, so it is melting when I put it on there. I want to see if I have, this is my other pack. I don't think I have my, what I want to show you, but there's black. I could just leave it kind of. Get it in a little closer so you can really see the colors take shape. And there you have it. One more tip I'm going to give you, and I want to show you. Let me grab my. I don't have my knife here. Let me use my, my clay knife. Something that you can do is 
make, oh, this is still soft, but we'll do this. Oops, let me get back on the camera here. Not exactly what I wanted there. It's too, let me get a different color that I have not heated yet. And you'll see what I'm doing in a minute. You can make little char, like little shards of it, right? You can see. Put that back because you know what I'll do is I'll go grab it later and get, I have so many cuts. And you want to kind of hold it up high. You'll see. Once you catch it on there with the heat. And sometimes one of my tips for you, and I'm going to show it right here. I'm going to heat the paper and then put the shards on it and see how it goes. So you can get a whole different kind of look. Throw those pieces off. Again, I'm going to heat right here on the paper. So when it hits, it's already hot. And that's my real quick demo. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.